job of covering him. Anyway. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, you know what I would like to see? I guess. Okay. I, would, I would like to see VV absolutely destroy numbers. Yeah, I'm actually... It's interesting that he goes on... Um, Lucario? Lucario in this matchup. I know that, like, the reason why he... One of the reasons why he goes, uh... Uh... Hero against Sinji is for Bounce. Mm -hmm. And I feel like Bounce is a really good tool against numbers as well. I think maybe he just feels confident that he can survive against numbers. And if you know you can survive against somebody, uh, Lucario is probably the character that will reward you the most for doing so. I mean, absolutely. And I really love the approach that we've been seeing a little bit from Vivi. Not gonna get anything off of that, too. I don't think it would have led to much, but still... John, um, Vivi's been, like, really picking and choosing how he actually likes to approach John only because he doesn't want to give John enough, too, like, a, too much space in order to be scared, but also enough space so that he can kind of threaten, like, a lot of under-platform shenanigans. So that, like, Vivi, I mean, um, John has to be, like, really, you know, scared about how he actually approaches things. Period. Yeah. Right now, we're actually taking a bit of a slow matchup right now. About <laughs> both of these guys in the orange, and after a minute and a half almost has passed in this game. Oh my god. Well, that's why he tries to take it slow, because if you slip up even once against BB, jeez. Ooh, and getting this nice movement in, we're gonna see BB getting 42, and he's trying to build that damage on. I don't know. It's looking a little scary right now, because if John doesn't take this stock off anytime soon. You can see Lucario do Lucario <laughs> things. I don't know. Yeah, this stock is going to be so pivotal. Because, like, think about the difference mm -hmm. between, like, right now, he's at death percent. He right? almost died? What you mean death percent? Excuse me? I'm saying, Numbers is at death percent right now, but if he takes the stock, he's not at death percent. <laughs> Well, so it's really important that because he can then play the neutral totally differently as of right now. Yeah, like right now, he has deep breathing. Mm -hmm. He has so many more options he can go for. He can like I think he's gonna probably look for a landing neutral or something like that to get some really big damage start, especially while deep breathing is in effect. Wow, what a spot dodge. Mm -hmm. But uh, instead, I think he's once more just trying to hang back and go for these anti-air uh, sun salutations. I also feel like a little bit of the issue here is that Vivi's also trying to like threaten a lot of like you know movement options with Aura Sphere, but ends up getting hit a lot of the time you know with um, Soccer or Petter, and all that movement that she was trying to do. <gasps> Die. <is> that? <laughs> Interesting. Uh, meat. Oh wow. Now we're at like, oh, okay, no, that's not gonna do anything. However, this is still just as scary as it was from the beginning of the game because now Vivi doesn't have that lead anymore. And we already know how John wants to play. Oh yeah, no, John can really, if he wants to slow things down even more. Led to, that's yeah. my best friend, period. Don't at say the same time, if numbers, he's about 85, 111. Uh, if Vivi kills him right now, which he does, right there, bye-bye. Uh, this is this is an even game. As it should be. Yeah. That was such a great job stalling with the uh, with the deep breathing. But and with that deep breathing, you, <laughs> I don't think he's gonna get any chance to do it. Instead, he opts to go for ledge, being extra careful not to just jump into those really scary moves that Lucario has. Ooh, that was such a good attempt, but not gonna actually work out. Yeah, I, I, I want to take a look at that. I feel like there was some advanced baiting going on at that last stock right there. That was, did you see all that aura movement? Let me see this. Yeah, 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 look at this. Goes to the ledge here. And then, let's play the guessing game. Like, what do you think's gonna happen next here? He goes, he went for neutral getup. I think he jumps, right? Yeah, he just goes for this full hop. This was so close to landing. Look at this, if we can go back just a few frames. Like, look at that! Oh, this was frames away! Wow. Oh, no. If, that had, if, that, if he had hit that, like, maybe a frame, like, two frames earlier. Mm -hmm. Period. But we're gonna start out with some 41% done. However, I don't know. John wants to retort with a little bit of damage, making it pretty even, especially with that deep breathing on hand. <laughs> and that invincible <laughs> arm. I don't know what you I don't know what she was trying to do there, but she wasn't trying to hit him. Oh, okay, gonna hit him with that. 
Trying to get this Ledge Trap going. I feel like Vivi's Ledge Traps hasn't been all too much. Only because he's still trying to learn a little bit of, you know, John's kind of like newer habits. Because John isn't really falling for the same things that you would normally see people fall for. As much as it's yeah. like doesn't, you know. Oh, what a Tomahawk grab. Just so good. Oh, I don't know what that meant. I think he wanted to send that the other way. The, oh, oh, oh. Is that ball coming down? <laughs> I thought that ball was just going to come down. Ooh, that was so smooth. All right, period. At like 90% too? Oh, that was, no, he was at like 70 when he got hit by that. Oh, no. It is, it's the, it's what happens. Listen, if you... Oh, that was at 87. I lied, I'm sorry. Anyways. Okay. John has been choosing a lot of like more like jump ins as like more of an approach option, which kind of makes sense only because of you know the the nature of Wii Fit. Oh man, look at that! Numbers has been trying to use this header to help him get back to the ledge, but just these auras. Uh, the, what? Cute. What? I, sure. What? 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 Oh, that was so slick! Actually, finding the hit right there. Numbers, though, he's at 97, but BB at almost no aura whatsoever, meaning that John doesn't really have to worry about so much just quite yet. He might be able to make, at least make back a decent amount of this damage differential uh, before the stock might drop. Mm, that F smash isn't going to net too much other than some damage on you. However, yeah. I don't know. I, I, this this is kind of be a little bit of the thing, you know, where BB is going to struggle because that's exactly what happened the first game. You know, Vivi had a very good lead, but John starts making it back the second stock and then takes the whole, like, hold the game. So, I don't know. We might need to see a little bit more of, you know, a different style of approaching this so that Vivi yeah. doesn't have that same thing happen. I love that. Before, numbers have been going for the instant side B after jumping up, and now he was delaying it to make sure that he wasn't getting hit by that, uh, the aura sphere. I'm honestly loving the adaptation with the soccer ball, both in terms of the timings and the heights. He's been doing that a lot, throwing mm. the soccer ball, you know, in the corner, but making sure he hits it twice in order to use it as this anti-air option to shut down any type of platform movement. And just as a result of that, now numbers actually has the lead right here. 133%, but a low damage Lucario is still going to be actually struggling to end things possibly. I don't know. It's looking like it's already ended because. We see, we see it coming from VV. Okay. Trying to get back to stage. I don't know. <gasps> yeah, we actually haven't seen like a down angled uh, side B in a long time from numbers. Great job right there, VB, despite getting buried, managed to come out and take that stock. And now, you know, this is, I, I feel similar to how I did in this game, in the game one. This isn't even a game. This isn't even a game right now. Period. I don't know, man. Oh. This is more of a comma that's going to soon turn into a, uh, a conjunctive sentence because there is a whole story that still needs to be told. I don't know. I'm going to be completely honest. This is already looking like it's trying to be told because with the way that VB's playing, he, oh. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, I like the fact that numbers recognizing that BB is trying to do a lot of, you know, when he when he is shielding, he's going forward and very safe things. This might be the end of things. BB at 144. Oh, oh my that god! That back air looking mighty, mighty scary. I don't know. He almost died at 40 from me. Instead, he dies at 60. Oh period. my god! Highway robbery. Period. <laughs> Well, what now? Because I'm going to be completely honest. Quick question. Quick pop quiz. How many times do you think numbers got hit on his last time? Three. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was like three to four times. Well. Oh, my God. You make sure you get hit not yeah. three times at all. He was at at 67. All. No, he was. By the way, that's a stale back air. It was stale. You hit him with a back air just a second ago. Uh-huh. Didn't matter. No. He was uber dead. He, was he took an uber to death? Yeah. Imagine taking an Uber to death. How yeah, much does that cost imagine, you? Co imagine ordering a $50 Uber in this economy to die. <laughs> I don't know. I might just have to... <laughs> I might just have to die somewhere else at that point. I don't know. But we're going to get... Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. And get into this third game because I'm going to be completely honest. I really like... Even though, you know, it kind of looked like it was trickling down a little bit. I feel like... 
he really needs to start threatening these dashes in because Lucario Loki kind of has a really good initial pass. Like, you, know, oh, you, you yeah. see the way he be speedy? He be, he be speedy like... Oh, man. As... Okay, as we move into this game three here, mm -hmm. uh, sort of what to glean from that last game. I think one of the big things is that... Uh, Don't take three hits. Yeah. Uh, it's funny because when Vivi is in the lead, uh, then Numbers is able to pull it back. Mm -hmm. And when Numbers is in the lead, Vivi's been sneaking out those wins. Uh, so this is the kind of game where you really cannot judge too much based on... Whoa. Uh, no. That must have been so unfortunate because the platform got in his way. That would have been absolutely dead. But it doesn't look like it's deterring Vivi at all because right now, Vivi needs to take off this first dodge any way he sees fit. Yeah. Oh, speaking of we fit, uh, we pretend not to see. Oh, that's so smart. The fact that he goes for that bonk like that in order to specifically avoid getting two framed by the down tilt. Absolutely not. And that's the third time he's actually done it. I, I'm going to be completely honest. I'm not sure. Oh. I'm not sure if John like is really like aware of that because it's like, what can you do at that point? Ooh, that was a very nice jump. He's been, um, Vivi's been jumping a lot, like really avoiding it. And I definitely can see a lot more of the, you know, dashing usage just a little bit more and i feel like that kind of just negates a lot of what we fit wants to do because you can kind of just dash yeah. in and out of everything that she has yeah and i also i just want to mention the time we've had now two minutes pass on the clock and the first stock finally being taken by bb with a great down air finally finding a uh sort of a conversion from that ledge trap mm -hmm. Uh, but this is the sort of thing where if Vivi wants to continue slowing things down, there might come a point where timeout is actually viable. If the game keeps going at the pace that it is currently, absolutely. And Numbers, he's going to be slowing it down because he needs to be so careful. Any hit right now means massive, massive damage. Ooh, okay. Yeah, Vivi's been really good at he bur he's always making sure to burn John on his jump with the uh, by throwing out those aura spheres, but not really able to capitalize on numbers landing without that option. Uh, finally, numbers taking that stock with a uh, you know a little charge move of his own that Sun Titation does it. Uh, but that's, I mean, we're once more at an even game. These two are just going back and forth. And you know the thing about that down throw that I actually learned from John is that a lot of the time it's not actually true and. Most of the time, people yeah. actually choose, you know, an air dodge or a type, yeah. which is really good. Another thing with it is that something that uh, Vivi has shown, if he gets down thrown near those platforms, he DIs to make sure he does not wind up on the platform. Because something that Numbers does is like down throw into side B, and that's like 70% if all mm -hmm. of them connects. I don't know. I don't want to, if I want to be taking 70 from Leaf It. Oh, we went the wrong way! Oh, no. And that's really bad! <gasps> Oh, we were talking about how, oh, it's so good that he's bonking because it's throwing off Numbers' timing. Numbers just adjusted the timing right there, and that's really... That's what I'm talking about. Oh, my God. If he had if he had air dodge there, he would have died, I think. He just might have just straight up died. I'm going to be completely honest. I didn't even expect, like, down tilt to actually hit him. It's just kind of crazy. Okay. Down tilt yeah. two frames. <laughs> what? Excuse Is it he's me? Was that because he's invincible during up smash? <laughs> that must have been like the few frames of invincibility from up smash. I saw Lucario go straight through her. That is actually, if you're VV right now, that's got to be the sort of thing where you're like, hmm. You've got to, wow. Oh, no. That, anyways, we got to get back to this game because, I don't know. It might, oh, it's no. entering its final stage. This is actually so similar to what we saw in the last game. VV at super high percent, numbers at low percent. And how did it end? It ended with three back airs. And a victory screen for Vivi. I don't know. Oh, gonna get hit by that again. Vivi's oh really playing well here at the oh ledge. Oh my god, back air might kill. Oh, that could Back air's gonna kill if it lands at the ledge. Numbers has to be so careful. Absolutely. Vivi's trying to use <gasps> his movement. What was and that? Just... Mm -mm. The it was a kick. went right over him. It was the kick. The kick did it. Oh the no. Slight hurt box shifting. Oh wow, the down tilt. Not enough though. 166% right now on Lucario. Numbers has to find some way to end this. <gasps> that's gonna be it. No, without without deep breathing, that's not actually gonna be a kill of any kind. Oh no, this is absolutely <gasps> That's gonna be it, numbers! Period.
And there it is. Wow, Vivi making the comeback again in game two and in game three. He's going to be managing to get the run back against Sinji, who right now is waiting in grand finals on the winner's side. Um, oh, man, what a nail biter of a set. Every single time that Vivi is on screen, that sort of thing just happens. Oh. That was, I don't know, that, that was so slow, but that was so good, too. Like, imagine having such a, like, a methodical gameplay and then, like, making it so, like, interesting to watch. I don't know.